here I have prepared one of my fabrics made out of triangles and pieces of denim. And now I'm decorating them with uh, cut out fabric flowers in Mod Podge. I'm later gonna, once it's dry, I'm gonna sew around these so they're secure. And you're gonna have a new, a new art piece made out of denim. Hi, so this is how it's coming. I use these pieces of denim to brush the Mod Podge onto the back of the flowers very carefully to make sure I catch everything. And then I go around pressing the fabric with my fingers to make sure that it grabs all the fibers. It takes a while to dry. This is an example of the Mod Podge drying. It's not dry yet, okay? And this is the Mod Podge I use. This is the one that says fabrics light or dark fabrics so what i'm doing is i'm making little flowers just like you would make stars for christmas out of paper you make them out of flowers and you make just free hands you don't draw anything you just um, follow your thoughts and these are leaves these are flowers these is different fabrics that i have in here and I'm turning them into a painting. This I had previously made, I think I made a video of this fabric made out of zigzagged pieces of denim. So now I'm decorating with the flowers. As this dries, I'm gonna come back with zigzag and make the stems with green thread right through. And then I'm gonna give it a one pass of small zigzag on these, maybe a circle on these, to try to secure them because the glue may come off at some point. Obviously something like this you can't wash, okay? Because it's basically art. Then I'm gonna make a bag out of this. The other side is gonna have pockets and this will be kind of a fun bag to have an art bag. It's gonna be pretty large, you can see it's large. But I wanted a big canvas for my art so, um, and this is how I use the denim to put the Mod Podge so you don't get it all on the, on the fabric as I'm working. And it's close work. Here's how I would make a flower. You take a little four inch piece of fabric. This one has a little piece attached to it. Doesn't matter. I'm gonna fold it four ways and then once over, like that. Then I'm gonna iron it so it's nice and flat. And then from here, knowing that I have a piece here, I'm gonna uh, cut out uh, the shape of a petal and that'll give you a petal. Here's the shape of a petal. I usually don't draw it, I just do it by eye, but it's approximately the kind of shape. You can make it a little more pointy. You can make it shorter. So you would cut out this kind of petal. Now you have eight pieces of fabric, so you need a sharp scissor and be careful. Okay, so here is the cutout. The last one wasn't didn't work out. It fell apart. And it's very important that you keep the sides together. So don't cut around the sides so it keeps the flower together. You can see how I made the flower. I made sure not to cut the edges so it stays together. Okay, now you can make various sizes, different colors and pile them up to make two layers and it gives it more of a three dimensional look. Now I'm gonna turn it around and put the Mod Podge on it. I like to make a little hole in the center to give it a center by just showing a peeking out the denim, okay? Here is how I brush on the Mod Podge, almost like you were painting. And it's the thick Mod Podge, it's the fabric. So it's like a paint. You're gonna cover every one. And then once you put them on, you gotta press it in so that it adheres to the bottom fabric. You're still gonna have to sew it because it may not be foolproof, but you're gonna go around and paint it with the Mod Podge and then find a spot on the fabric where you think the flower should go. Here it's gonna go mine, okay? Just a tip when you use your Mod Podge, you're gonna pour a little bit at a time into a little plastic cup and use kind of a cheap brush because it may harden on you and you won't be able to get it out. So. 
use a paper cup. So I completed this flower. It's too flat, so I'm gonna add uh, something else to it. I'm gonna add a dark color. Now, when you do this, don't worry about the pattern. Ignore the pattern, just look at the colors because the pattern doesn't matter once you see the, uh, and like this one's got little lions on it. It just adds to the interest, so don't worry about it. I'm gonna make a little flower to go in the middle in this contrasting color and glue it right in. And here is the Mod Podge flower, all painted. And here I glued the second layer of, of petals onto the flower, No, it is that I did not center it to give it more of a three-dimensional look because your eye might think that this is turned around because your eye is thinking this is in the center. This is an artist trick. You do this when you paint as well. And the more the contrast between the two colors, the more you'll see that edge. Now, I'm not gonna edge everything with zigzag. That's gonna be too much. So I'm just gonna give it, um, a basically a single stitch in a color such as green to go around just to secure them okay I don't think you could really zigzag this whole thing but it's well secured and this is what it looks like so far I believe I did a video about how I made this this panel uh, this is just to use up all the little pieces of denim that I have and now these are all my little pieces of fabrics that I have little pieces of that I can't quilt. So just these little pieces. And I'm making this. Come for part two of this video. I'll show you how I finish this. And part three will be how I make the bag using my super duper sail bright machine. Okay?